My name's Geneva, I'm a senior at NYU, and I'm a game programmer. I grew up in Jamaica, Queens with my parents and my three little siblings. It was a very technical household. We all played games together, all learned about computers. But my dad specifically was really into computers and taught me all of these different programs when I was like in middle school. And that just kind of continued on when I went to high school. And I was like, oh, you can code and you can make games. Video games at first meant entertainment, but as I got older, video games eventually meant another art form. It's freedom of expression. I feel like there's definitely a steep learning curve when it comes to programming. It's about finding resources or finding communities where you can learn with other people. I found communities of people that made games that were very LGBTQ focused. And because of that, I wanna just put more of those out there. I feel like a lot of games need to like acknowledge people of color's voices a lot more, or it's just like adding more hairstyles instead of just being like, oh, well, I guess there's only one black hairstyle. Guess I'll choose this. AI can change the future of gaming just by looking at how AI is affecting our lives everywhere else. Equal representation and diversity in AI is super important just because AI is all around us. AI can possibly help people be more empathetic through video games. By having lots of different people from different backgrounds come together to work on something, new things will be brought to the table that wasn't there before.